what is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to outline text in affinity photo for the ipad i'm going to be showing you three creative ways to do so and this is going to be a follow-up video to one of my previous affinity photo tutorials where i showed you how to outline stuff in photos and basically outline pictures um, you can check that out if you like but if you're new here, my name is Daniel Hong and I'm a fourth year medical student in Cuba from Belize. And I make videos about life in Cuba as well as other creative stuff. So if that's something that you like, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button because it really helps. And without further ado, let's get into this video, shall we? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap Affinity Photo and we're going to wait for it to load up. Now that we're in the gallery view, I'm just going to go and create a new document real quick. And I'm going to leave the settings just as they are because it doesn't really matter right now. All right. Now that we are in, I'm going to give myself a nice little background. I'm going to change the color a bit. And for this, we're going to use the fill tool. All right. That right there, the fill tool gonna go choose a color hmm, maybe a pink maybe a green I think I'm gonna go with pink okay. and we're just gonna tap the space and it should color it or not hmm Oh yes, um, we have to create a new pixel layer to be able to do so. So after doing that ta and tapping it, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our um, text tool, which should be the last um, icon on your left toolbar. And we're just going to click that and then just drag just like that to set the font size and I'm going to type something in there um, if I can get it to work um, yes iPad OS 14 and it's quirks I'm just gonna type my name D-A-N oops D-A-N-I-E-L H-U-N-G and I think that's it okay and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the font now to something a lot more cooler you know my go-to font these days has has been bangers so i'm gonna choose that and then i'm going to use the move tool to kind of align it in the center make it a little bigger and for aesthetic reasons i am gonna center it like that and then I'll change the color to white to kind of match the color scheme that I'm going for and after we have done all of that um, we have now arrived at where the magic happens and that's in the layer effects panel which is on your right toolbar we're gonna tap that and we're gonna open that right now make sure our text is the one selected in the layers panel we're gonna go right into the layers effects panel right there and this is where the magic happens now we're gonna go to the where it says outline and we're gonna turn it on right you'll see a contextual menu pop up and I'm just gonna change the color real quick so basically what this feature does is it just basically makes you create an outline effect really easily so I'm gonna change it to blue and uh, yeah, you can leave the other settings by their defaults and just raise the radius up. And as you can see, an outline should appear that gets bigger or that gets thicker the more you slide. And you know, if you don't like the color blue, you can always um, change it just like that. Now that's the most used method. Uh, I'm going to be showing you two other ways that you can do this that will allow you to achieve some interesting results for sure. 
Now let's get rid of the outline effects and head on over to where it says outer shadow. Click on it and a new contextual menu should pop up. As the name suggests, its purpose is to basically apply some shadowing, which gives your text some depth. And as you can see, when we mess around with the offset, you can see that, you know, it starts, we're starting to give it more depth. Let me zoom in so that you can kind of see it a little better, get these panels out of the way. And as you can see, as I mess around with the offset, it basically shifts the shadow more to another side, creating an awesome shadow effect. Now this shadow doesn't need to be just black. You can actually change it to any color that you want. You know, the possibilities are endless. Now you can mess around with the opacity and stuff and it'll influence the characteristics of the shadow. All right, and now what I'm gonna show you now is what happens when I change the background to black. Um, because something interesting happens. So I'm just gonna change that color to black. Make sure I have my fill tool. You know, fill color tool. Change it to black and I made it black. Now, what you should be noticing and asking yourself is what happened to my, you know, what happened to the color? What happened to the shadow, you know? Wasn't it green a while ago? How comes when I change it, the settings, nothing seems to be happening? That's because we have to go and change the blend mode to normal instead of multiply. And when we do that, we can now see all of the colors. The shadow effect allows us to have an effect that looks like this very, very easily. And with the shadow effect, you again have the offset parameter to allow you to create some interesting effects just like this you can turn the radius up I think to blur it yep you know so mess around have fun with it now the last way to create some interesting outlines is when we use the outer glow effect let's turn that one on and immediately let's change the color maybe to an orange Now look closely because as we raise the radius, you will start to see it start to bloom or like starting to glow as if it was a light bulb being lit. You know, let me zoom it in so you can see it. This is definitely an interesting way to outline your text and it might be useful depending on what you're going for. And it's even more pronounced on this black background. It really looks like it's lighting up. And that's the end of the video, guys. Three ways to outline your text in Affinity Photo for the iPad. Affinity Photo is a very powerful program, and I haven't even scratched the surface of all of its capabilities. Um, if you got value, if you learned something from this, uh, make sure to show your love by liking and subscribing for more videos like this. And, you know, share it to anybody you think who might need it. Um, comment down below your questions and your suggestions. Until next time, peace.